During today's video, I want to talk to you a little bit about who I am, about what led up to my amputation, and about a mantra that I wrote on the mirror in my bathroom the day that I got home from the hospital and that I still look at and rehearse in my mind every single day. Now, while I was living in Michigan, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder. And for those of you who are somewhat familiar with autoimmune disorders, just random things can pop up out of nowhere. And uh, that is what happened to me. I uh, started to have increased swelling and inflammation in the veins of my, the, of my left foot. I saw physicians there and I was being treated. After several doctor's appointments and one final ER visit, I was informed that I had a blood clot in an artery in my right thigh, which was cutting off the circulation to my right foot. Um, things are moving really quickly and this condition was, was progressing. And I can remember two of my physicians standing at the bottom of my hospital bed in my hospital room, telling me that I could either um, continue on with the course of medications that I was getting to see if the blood flow was gonna be restored in my right foot, or I could decide to have my foot amputated from um, below my knee. And I needed to make this decision within 24 hours. Um, you can imagine I was extremely scared and nervous and unsure of what the right thing was to do. Um, and most of all, I was fearful of what my life uh, living on with one foot was going to be like. Um, but I decided that the pain was too great and the risk was um, also too great. So I decided to go along with the surgery. And I had my right foot amputated below the knee on December the 4th of 2014. Um, I can remember coming home and uh, just being really sad and depressed. And, uh, one of the things that was steady throughout my entire recovery process was that mantra that I wrote on the, on the mirror in my bathroom. Um, I still look at it today. And one of the things that it said that I'm hoping will not only to continue, continue it to inspire me, but that uh, maybe someone who is facing uh, a challenge or going through a situation that may be similar to my own, um, I'm hoping that it's able to do the same for you. And my mantra said, Autumn, you are whole, you are complete just as you are, you are loved, and you are supportive. Let's do this. So from my mirror and my mouth to all of you who are able to um, get whatever you can from my story and from my mantra, um, that's what I hope that you're able to do.